What's up guys, welcome back to the Bianconeri Zone for the first daily news video of 23. Um, before we get off to it, uh, happy new year to everyone. Uh, hopefully it's gonna be a good year, like personally, uh, but especially for the club, or, <laughs> because it's been a rough two, three seasons uh, off the field, on the field. So hopefully it's gonna turn uh, for the good. Uh, you can only hope at this point. Uh, but also for the channel, uh, like 2022 was big because that's when we kind of exploded. Uh, that's all thanks to everybody who still watches the channel after so many daily videos, lives and all those things. And all those things are coming back. But on top of that, we have some, uh, some fun things planned moving forward. So stay tuned for that. And to do that, hit that subscribe button, the bell notification, and especially like the videos. Because a like, well, it's easy, but it helps us out a lot. So do that, and let's get into today's daily video. Um, it wasn't planned to be a negative one. It's not a negative one, uh, but while watching a bit of Tottenham play today, something hit me, um, and as you can see on the, on the thumbnail, it's about Paredes and Di Maria, um, and why they're still not back at the club. Now... They are expected to be back tomorrow, I think, the second. Um, we play on the fourth. <clears throat> now, Romero is playing for Tottenham. Uh, Lotaro is um, training with Inter. Varane is starting games. Rabiot has been back for almost a week. Um, why are Paredes and Di Maria still not back? Uh, I wasn't really too fast because I was never thinking about it, but the club told them they can stay away from the club for such a long time and I have no idea why. Now, if we were, um, if we were, how do you want to say it? If we were 10 points clear um, and we, or we had a, a stacked squad, like we were filled in every position, no injuries, you can look over it. But now, now I'm thinking about it. We are 10 points behind, if you still play for the title, if that's still your goal. We're 10 points behind, that's one. Secondly, uh, we have so many injuries, and Di Maria is one of the positions we desperately need, because Cuadrado's out, Sule is not getting minutes, and you know how we play, like everybody knows how we play, we rely heavily on a spark, or like on a moment, and all those things, and the, like it's actually unbelievable that the club, you know, allowed them to stay away for this long from the club like stay away from the club for this long like we need him we really 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 need him um because I, I, like i said like we have injuries injury players injured players excuse me and in that position we we're kind of we're kind of dead on our feet so i actually can't believe now 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 i'm thinking about it because i saw romero play and i'm like i saw lotaro in training i'm like well, what is happening? Like, and again, you can question both players. Uh, and if you ever questioned their intention or motivation for playing for the club, well, this action or like this situation, you can use or like you can basically look at it and be like, why are they not just coming back and be like, okay, you want to play? We still have something to play for, all those things. But they want to World Cup, and I mean. <sighs> They're probably not gonna back, gonna be back if the club tells them they can stay away for this long. But it's frustrating because we play on Wednesday, a, a tough game. Like you should beat Cremonese, winless on the season. Uh, you should beat them, but we've seen this before, and we are missing so many players, and so many key players, like players who can make a difference. That's the main part. Like that's the biggest issue. So frustrating. Um, but it is what it is, I guess. Uh, but it never hit me until I saw them play today. And I saw Lotaro in training. But let me know in the comments what you think about them. Um, staying on the topic, uh, Sky Sport reported today that both of them are going to leave in the summer. I think we all kind of knew that. Or like that's the most likely outcome. Um, let's see how that will go. Uh, Paredes, well, that's... No idea what happened with Paredes because it seems like he is in the doghouse now. Um... But it is what it is, I guess. Uh, he's going to leave 7 mil on his wage. It's too much. 
It's pointless. Di Maria, it should, like it always was a stopgap. It's very interesting to see what we're going to do in that position. Um, because also Cuadrado is leaving. Not that Cuadrado plays everything, uh, every single time in that position. But Sule is not being used. So it's going to be interesting. But both of them, that's news, probably out. Uh, Romano is saying that Alexandro is going to leave. We have an option. The club is not likely to use him. We use it. We know it. He's on six and a half. He's not performing for years, I'm going to say. Um, so... That's kind of a no-brainer. He's going to leave. Then Nico Shira talked about McKenny. That Bournemouth are interested. No, South- no, excuse me. It was Bournemouth. Um, in January. They're interesting to get him in January. Now, this is something to look out for. Can Bournemouth, first of all, pay the money? They have new owners. They have money. Do you, you, like A few years ago, they were kind of struggling to get signings over the line. They have money now. Does McKenny want to go to Bournemouth? Not sure. Um, because it, that he's probably going to walk in and be the highest paid player at Bournemouth, which is m- maybe weird, you know, that McKenny is your highest paid player. Uh, but the question is, does he want to go to Bournemouth? I'm not sure. Going Juve, Bournemouth, maybe he, he, he understands that maybe he cannot play for a big team in terms of like exposure, but like Bournemouth, that's, that's kind of sticky. Like you can go back to the championship easily. Uh, so not sure, but... If that those are the teams that are interested in him in January, I'm probably thinking he's gonna say he's not gonna move unless you know I think a, a bigger team comes in like a Tottenham. Not saying it's gonna happen, but other than that, I think it's gonna. I think he's gonna stay. Uh, but you never know. Last season we we had no clue about Vlaovic, and then boom, maybe he leaves and we, we splash some money on McAllister and Brighton is like, yeah, we let him go, which also seems very uh, unlikely at the moment. Uh, but you never know. Then Rabiot news, <sighs> the same. Like Allegri wants him to say, especially in January, they're going to talk about a new deal, but it's unlikely to happen because of the wages he's on already, let alone the wages he's going to demand, Being a free, knowing he's a free agent. Uh, Allegri wants him, I saw a lot of people kind of be angry that we're keeping in in January. Uh, I'm okay with it. Because you're not going to get big money. There's no offer. Like There's not even a rumor that a club wants to buy him in January. I don't think he's a player a lot of teams will look at when he's free. Because he's a good piece to have. I don't think he's a player clubs are looking at and be like, we need to get him in January to turn our season around. He's not that type of player that's going to turn your season around. So I don't think any offer is going to come in. If an offer comes in, it's going to be very very low and i think it's a risk to let him go now because i keep saying it he's the most consistent player this season midfielder pogba's not fit miretti is up and down fajoli is playing well i think locatelli is up and down mckenny is mckenny you need him like you need the players so i think he's gonna stay um in january of course and i think it's a good thing because i think we need him I mean, it is what it is at this moment in time so i'm fine with that um I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna you know be mad about it unless an offer of 20 mil comes in then of course you need to think about it but that's very unlikely uh that's gonna happen if we're being completely honest um because he's free like and like i said i don't think he's a player clubs are looking at and be like he's gonna turn our season around 100 percent sure he's gonna take us from seven to top four, like a Chelsea now, because they're struggling. I don't think they're looking at Rabiot and be like, oh, he's got, bringing Rabiot in is going to put us from seven to four plays because he's that of an impact player. He's not. So for all those reasons, I think he's just going to stay and uh, ride it out, you know, or we are going to ride it out until the next uh, next season, basically. Uh, that was all the news for today. Uh, but it's Sunday. It's Monday tomorrow, and it's game week. Two games, Cremonese Wednesday, Udinese on Saturday. Uh, kind of early kickoffs uh, for me. Uh, at 6 o'clock, 6.30. Uh, big, big games because I think Napoli play, I don't know, I forgot, Inter, I don't know, one of those clubs. But the next game is Napoli. So we need to win those games badly. Like we need two wins to go into the Napoli game. If you still believe in the title... You need to win those two games. Hope Napoli drop points. I think it was against Inter. And then do your business. <laughs> a tough task, but do your business away to Napoli. And then, yeah, maybe you blown up 
like blown open uh, the title race. It's a big ask because we know how good uh, Napoli are this season. They're very good, you know, um, <clears throat> and we know how we are playing. So I think that's kind of obvious uh, how. But it's a big week. We're finally back. Uh, so stay tuned for match day content, previews, post games, all those things. Um, and yeah, again, happy 23. And like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification, and we will see you back tomorrow.